What is going on everybody? Steven here. Wanted to do an update for my 75 gallon tank. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of algae in here right now. Sorry, that's, uh, that's the foster dog sneezing. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, there's a lot of algae right now, as you can see, tons of it. Uh, that's a bunch of hair algae, which I'm actually not worried about all this algae. This is kind of what I was looking for. Um, it was actually all over the glass too, but I scraped that off. But um, this algae just tells me that there's a lot of life going on in the tank right now. Um, I was dosing a lot of fertilizer in here, and because I don't have a lot of plants, that's why there's a lot of algae going on right now, which is totally fine. I can always deal with the algae. Um, but now that means I can go ahead and start adding some fish. As you can see, I went ahead and added one fish I had that I was actually, uh, I got for this purpose. I have one in my 55 gallon and I got this guy a while back, but he was just sitting in the 55 gallon as well. This is a uh, Siamese algae eater. The great thing about these guys, they eat a lot of algae, but they also eat the blackbeard algae, which is that stringy black algae, obviously. Um, that's kind of over some of the the driftwood and plants and stuff. Um, there are two other fish that look similar to him, like a flying fox and a si uh, Chinese algae eater, but both of those can be quite territorial as they get bigger, and they don't really eat as much of the blackbeard algae as the Siamese algae eaters do. So that's why I have one of those right now. Also went ahead and put one of the snails in here. I, I need to get a lot more snails because this is a lot of surface area in this tank and also I put a couple of mono shrimp which I'm going to be getting some more of those as well as you can see right there so as I said I'm going to put some blue velvet shrimp in this tank and also praycox rainbow fish which is the dwarf neon rainbow fish and some orange laser corridors that's primarily what I want in this tank and also maybe a couple plecos as well it depends We'll see how it goes. That might be something I get later down, later down the road, so. Not worried about the algae, like I said. My other tank initially looked like this as well, but now you can see it's uh, it's doing quite well. There's not a lot of algae in there. I have a lot of self-regulating fish. They'll go in there and you know eat the algae. A lot of shrimp in there as well. So this is kind of what I was wanting because the algae also adds a lot of um, a food source for little baby fish and stuff too, which my plan is to breed the, the rainbow fish as well. And the shrimp also graze in there. Um, so an update on the plants I put in, I don't know if you remember, I put in the dwarf aquarium lily bulb down there and it's actually starting to sprout, which is pretty neat. Uh, and that should get really big. That's why I put it in the, the middle back. Uh, as you can see, there, there's a better shot over here. I'm getting uh, runners and that's what that little line is that's how this uh, plant grows it'll just do offshoots every couple inches and then sprout up another piece of that and then in between you can just clip that and you can uh, propagate a, a new plant that way the bacopa you can see I'm starting to get uh, new sprouts there as well and I have new growth on the top which is awesome that was one of the plants I struggled with for some reason initially on my other tank. The uh, crypt back there is covered in algae, which is not ideal. I'm going to get probably another algae, a Siamese algae eater as well to help because there's a lot going on in this tank. Uh, it's probably going to look pretty, pretty nasty for a while. It'll take a couple months for everything to kind of balance out and the fish to help keep the algae in check. So. I know it looks bad right now, but I promise it'll look better later on. So here's the update. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order the fish for it at my local fish store. And hopefully we'll be able to get back to you guys soon to show you the fish. Have a good one.